I had this opportunity, uh, this opportunity opened up at West 57th, which was a magazine show, and uh, sort of a younger version of 60 Minutes. And I wanted to do long form. I thought that, uh, that if I had, I'd always had people say to me, you know, you're going to end up on, C even from the second or third year as it was at CBS, people said, you're going to end up at 60 Minutes someday. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, you know, hopefully. I said, no, you're going to end up at 60 Minutes someday. And I thought, it was always my goal, and I thought that taking this job at West 57th would probably help my chances, that it would give me an opportunity to do uh, longer form uh, interviews and um, be back in, back in New York. I hadn't been in New York. I mean, I had really only worked in, in New York one year, and I thought that uh, I thought it was time for me to come back. I wanted to see what it was like and work at uh, home base and and uh, get to meet some of these people face to face because I had been gone for seven years. I just okay. wanted to ask you briefly about West 57th Street. Uh, what was the nature of that uh, program and your role in it? Well, the program had been on the air. I was not one of the original correspondents. The program had started, it must have been in about 1986, and it was designed to be sort of a younger version of, of the 60 Minutes. It was supposed to be younger, hipper, um, and explore different ways of, of telling stories other, other than just the straightforward 60 Minutes way. And most of the people that went to work for it, including Andy Lack, had been uh, at CBS Reports. And they were video fluent, as they like to say. Mm -hmm. They liked pictures. They wanted to have a lot of good pictures, and they wanted to have minimum narration, more interviews, and just have the pictures and the interviews drive the story. It was just a different way of, uh, of looking at uh, and, and producing television. And how did you feel about how successful uh, that program was? In, in achieving that, it was it was incredibly influential, because it became it was copied. Elements of it were copied by everybody. You can look around now, at uh, and and see traces of it. Dateline for a long time was very much a sort of the 60, uh, West Fifty Seventh model. Even elements of it uh, at the uh, of the new NBC show. Um, Rock, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Um, but it was very influential. A lot of things were copied, and um, it became not a very big success. It, it got a decent audience that would be numbers that would be great today, but back then were not so great. Mm -hmm. And we got moved all around the schedule, and finally, after three seasons, canceled. 